डॉक्टर अलुवालिया जी मिस्टर बहल मिस्टर मुखर्जी अवार्ड विनर्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एंड दाउट सेट आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट दोज विनर्स एंड आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट इस आर स्टील ऑल्सो दैट दे हैव स्टार्टेड दिस अवार्ड फॉर लास्ट थ्री इयर्स एज मिस्टर बहल मेड रेफरेंस टू चाइना and just i was thinking why 3 years before the sar infrastructure has started this award now i think india was progressing and one of the leading company must have thought that when india is progressing in infrastructure side we must start this excellence award and that must be the reason to give an encouragement to the um, uh, people those who are in the field as both of them mr bahel and dr alu alia said that the systems are different i have been visiting china right from 92 and first time the then prime minister narsingh rao ji he had uh, issued a statement on free economy and exactly at the Five years before of that, prior to 92, the then president of China, Mr. Jamin, had announced. In fact, their uh, economic uh, freeness was started in 1978, but the actual working system started in 87. But with one single hand, with one single voice. with one single order in india the central government heads with congress down below state governments with the different uh, philosophies sometimes central government with uh, different philosophy and down below different uh, philosophy this india's development of uh, democracy sometime bring us a hindrance in our uh, progress also before coming here i was uh, mentioning to mr behel that how you see we plan for future and how obstruction comes politically religiously i was mentioning about the one of the project of hydro lohari nagpala which is on the Gang river ganga some known iti professor was uh, sitting on fast like our anna hazare to staff that work which was started in 2002 we had spent about 600 crores of rupees river was diverted tunnel working was going on but suddenly this demonstration started that too in delhi not in lohari nagpala and said that the work should be stopped it was surprised to me a man who is coming from the village how iit people can demonstrate on this and that to professors a professors means to give knowledge to transfer the knowledge to the uneducated people and when the country was developing if you are obstructing the development i don't know where we stand now today we have to stop that uh, project we have spent 600 crores otherwise we would have got about 600 megawatts power of that the project is down below of tehri tehri is on ganga but no argument we we argued with them that if you want saral dhara flow they wanted they wanted up to here so i was prepared to give up to neck 
बस स्टिल जैसे नो गंगा की धारा सरल चाहिए कांड को बिकॉज वे ऑफ दिस कंट्री हैज सपर्ड विथ ब्रिक्स पॉलिटिक्स एंड वी डू नॉट वॉन्टेड दिस वॉटर पॉलिटिक्स टू ब्रिंक डाउन आवर गवर्नमेंट्स सो वी हैव टू स्टॉप दैट दिस सच रीजन्स ऑल्सो ब्रिंग ऑब्स्टैकल इन आवर डेवलपमेंटल थिंग्स आई एम वेरी हैप्पी द डॉक्टर आलो अलिया हैज गिवन ए परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ ट्वेल्थ प्लान एंड ही हैज टेकन व्यू रिव्यू of uh, 10th and 11th plan also i was governor of andhra pradesh and i joined uh, at the end of uh, 12th plan as uh, uh, at, at the end of uh, 10th plan as uh, power minister i saw that we projected uh, for 42000 megawatt and actually we could do only 21000 megawatt i went introspected along with my officers and found out where we are wrong we corrected during this two years of uh, elon plan we corrected ourselves and took measurement and that is the reason a year before past we could give 10000 megawatt in a year and this year we have given a 15000 synchronized and actual 12500 megawatt in one year this was never done before 60 years as uh, dr aluwalia said that they are thinking of giving us uh, a target of 12 plan about uh, a lack of uh, megawatt i must bring it to his and your information as and today still i have you see 11 months to go the 79000 is under construction of the 12th plan that we have planned it such is the progress that we are doing it such is the fast way we are going it and as we promised in the mid term uh, appraisal this the plan was brought from 70 target was brought it to, from 78000 to 62000 as and today we have uh, then about uh, 50000 megawatt but we'll be able to give another 10 to 15000 in the next year this year and we'll fulfill the target that which we have been given by the planning commission but now you have seen the obstacles obstacles of getting fuel obstacles of getting clearances of uh, environment with all these difficulties the power sector is well prepared to come to the wishes of the people and do the needful this is not only the capacity addition that we have taken steps we had only one manufacturing factory for the power uh, equipment that was vale we were huge plants we had done planning for 78000 but our capacity was only to give 10000 megawatt how we can cope up with this so dr when the issue was brought before the cabinet and i must mention here he was the person who was right from the beginning was supporting me to bring more manufacturing units and today living we see bharat heavy electrical company the five six more companies have come to india with the joint sector that you know you st you are in the um, business centers with the mhi with larsen tubro alstam with bharat force toshiba with uh, jindal gb with ansaldo and br with uh, a 
other other two companies i i do not remember every, every company this new four, six companies are coming and in line with the upcoming is uh, south korea's uh, dusan is coming with 100% uh, fdi china light company has approached me recently and they are also eager to come to india that shows you see if the chinese are coming to have establishment of factory here in this country that show that shows the india's is going ahead but i require to have the cooperation from other department also the government has planned to have electricity to 100 uh, 1 lakh 15000 uh, uh, villages in the country so far we have done it 92000 megawatt uh, 92000 uh, villages we have electrified and the remaining period will do that this country requires a huge uh, capacity addition and from see you see from from 14% uh, energy shortage we have come down to 10% 5% energy shortages and uh, uh, picking shortages and the energy shortage we have come from 15 to 10% now we will go down well, i was just calculating how much it requires suppose if we give it today it requires only 22000 megawatt and if it is only 22000 megawatt we are going to add 79000 megawatt in the 12 plan in addition just a rough calculation so there will be a zero backlog no this will not be sufficient for us because as we give more power the demand will increase in this country today we are with 7 to 800 per capita consumption capacity we have decided to go to 1000 per capita consumption by 2012 this is my a to total you see the department that at the moment i am uh, doing it but i assure as uh, mr bahel is very interesting person that uh, we were talking on rehabilitation he was inquiring about the rehabilitation he was inquiring about the fuel he was inquiring about the uh, the problems in the rural areas particularly on this uh, power sector and i think on this occasion to uh, express our views and to hear your views also is very important we can as a government we can learn something and give it to the country whatever they require i i i restrict myself only to my department i do not want to talk much more any question i will talk it later on but as uh, mr pahel and his cnbc um, tv 18 has invited me to deliver a small speech for 5 minutes i have spoken with you i once again congratulate you thank you very much jai hind